Hello! Before we get into this video, my hair is straight. Two reasons. Number one, I wanted to see how long it had grown. Quite a bit. And number two, I was really tired of the uneven ends. I wanted to straighten it so I could give myself a proper trim. So I did that. People keep saying this, okay? People keep saying that if you dress up in the morning and if you like get yourself ready, you feel productive throughout the day. It is 2 p.m. right now already and I've not done anything today. So the moment I straightened my hair, I actually felt like doing things. Like I was like, I look presentable. Maybe I should take a bath. Yeah, I hadn't taken a bath yet. I'm sorry, but I took a bath. I got into nice clothes and I was like, okay, now that I have changed and worn stuff, maybe I should film something. Just, you know, to do something. Not even as proof to the external world that I got ready for once. But more just like, I am ready. Let me use it. <laughs> Let me channel this somewhere. So I decided to make a video. And I had this idea for, for about a day now. And because I painted my brother's nail yesterday, he allowed me, God bless him, to do something. And it turned out looking like a tissue that had severe necrosis. And it was just really ugly. I will insert a photo slash video here and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But that got me thinking. I mean, I can't be the only person that has wondered what paint would look like as lipstick. I just can't be the only person. When I was younger, I didn't have makeup, but like I wanted to play around with things and look different for five minutes. I would use crayons, like I would melt the crayon and mix it with Vaseline and use that as lipstick and I still have that, which is disgusting, but I still own that. It's been like 10 years. So I just decided to give in to my childish whims and fancies and actually decide to find out what paint looked like as lipsticks. And even in case you didn't wonder what it looked like, boom, now you get to find out. So we do something new every day. I feel productive, so we're gonna do it. And I am saying this in complete confidence that once this video has been shot, I'm gonna go right back to watching season 10 of Modern Family. But hey, half an hour of doing something useful. It's a win. I have already done my full base of makeup. I put foundation, I put some concealer, and I'm keeping my glasses on today because I'm, I'm tired of not being able to see the camera when I talk to it. Because otherwise, like look at this, okay? Like it just like, it doesn't look like I'm focusing anywhere. It doesn't look like I'm looking at anybody. So when I'm putting this on, it actually looks like I'm talking to you. I'm looking at you. And I really hope there's no glare in this. It's supposed to be anti-glare glasses. In fact, the advertisement for this was a woman walking down her wedding aisle in these glasses with no glare so her future husband could look deep into her soul and decide whether or not to be permanently stuck with her. Those glasses did that. I hope that these are these glasses. You can look into my soul and decide whether to be subscribed to me forever. I would genuinely appreciate that. To the video. So I'm gonna take the well-educated guess that an entire video of watching me paint my lips is not gonna be that interesting. So I decided that every time I paint my lips a different color, I'm gonna try and take an Instagram-worthy photo and make it look like I'm actually wearing colored lipstick. Because sometimes you just put a full face of makeup to take a picture and then there's no shame in that. I wanna see if you can use this instead and save a lot of money. I think so, I'm not really sure how expensive these things are. I'm using the Fevi Krill acrylic colors because these are the only things that I could find in store before lockdown happened. And I really hope you can't hear that construction, but like, it's happening. I am going to start with the weirdest color that I think would look terrible on me. And that's gonna be white. Really hoping that I don't look like I have hypothermia. This is a terrible brush. Oh my god. The paintbrush is falling, falling apart. What is this? Oh my god. This is a terrible brush. Don't use this company. Doms. Synthetic hair. Don't use it. You are... Every time I stroke new hair is just gonna come out or something. I seriously need a better brush. So I went ahead and finished it off camera and the only comment I have is that I think I look like that character from Atlantis. Like the really pretty woman with white hair. I think I look like a dollar store version of her. Oh! <laughs> that is... Yeah, I don't think I can get a photo of this. We're moving on to the next color. Whoa, this is fun. It's like um, putting um, Fevicol on your hand 
waiting for it to dry and then peeling it off. Yeah. I really hope these are non-toxic. It's not like I have to use my brain anytime soon, so... Woohoo! So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the bad colors side by side so that it just gets over faster. So I'm gonna do yellow and orange. Your screen should split into two in magical post-editing, which I am figuring it out on a free trial basis. Thank you, Final Cut Pro. Not gonna lie, the orange doesn't look that bad. I could see myself looking like a brat's doll. The next color that we are going to go for is the greens. There are two greens, do I have to do both? So much okay. more. Dude, this actually looks really cool. Like, I like it. Like, I feel like I could be a villain for a Disney movie with this makeup. I feel like I look like the Earth Goddess. The next color is dark blue. I don't want to look too emo. I don't want to look straight out of an anime. I've not watched any anime, I just know enough to have a conversation. I think dark blue looks pretty good. Like, it reminds me of one of my seniors did a face painting competition and she did like a night sky on the person's face. Her name is Shweta, the person who painted it. It looked so good. The next color is brown. I think brown would look pretty good. Pocahontas is so pretty. Not that she had brown lipstick, but I just think it would be a look for her. Uh, looks like, like, you know, like, uh, like fresh dog poop brown. Every girl's dream. Brown looks good. I am into it. This looks great. I think I'll do pink next. Let's see what pink looks like. Oh god, this paint smells so bad. Oh, it stings! Oh, what's wrong with the pink one? Oh, oh, that stings. Okay, I'm not doing pink. That smells so bad and it stings and I don't know what they put in this one. And I accidentally put my paintbrush up my nose. So now the paint is inside my nose. And I can smell it. Ugh, disgusting. Two days later. Hello again, I have returned. It has been a couple of days and not much has changed except that my top layer of the skin of my lips has finally healed. They were damaged. To say the least, I can finally finish this video. So my hair is back normal. My bangs don't really know what they're doing. But do I care? I said, do I care? Yes. Yeah, yeah I do quite a bit. But um, I'm too lazy to figure out how to bang. We have two colors left. Black and red. I'm gonna do red first because I want to end with black because I've always wanted to know what I look like with black lipstick. So red is first. You know that scene in Little Mermaid where Ursula uses like some organism to apply lipstick on her face? Like I feel like that right now. I feel that cool. This looks really good. Like I feel like I'm having a Marilyn Monroe moment or like a Mulan moment. I wonder if this looks like real lipstick or not. I don't know what to do now. I am glad that I didn't wear a full face of makeup today because just like red lipstick, getting the red paint off was also really messy. Now for the last color. We are going to try on black. I have always wanted to know what black lipstick looks like on me. So today I finally get to find out. Conclusion, I look great in black lipstick. I definitely overlined my lips. Do you think that this looks similar to the Fenty Beauty one, like the photo? Well, there you have it. I have now successfully tried out all the acrylic paints in that dabba as lipstick. And here are my top choices. Number one is definitely the black lipstick. Number two is definitely the red, because we all know that that looked good. Number three, surprisingly, is the orange. The orange actually looked pretty good. Number four is the brown. The brown looked really good, like it looked natural, but the brown paint for some reason was a little thin, so it didn't cover up all the spots, that's why it gets number four, and it looked, it looked all right. And number five is the green, like the moss green green. So here's me post-editing, just enjoying. I did not realize that the entire second half of my footage got cut because I only have one card and it doesn't have much space really should figure out how to fix that. Anyway, that is the end of the video. Those are my top five favorite lipsticks as paints, paints as lipsticks. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I will see you on Monday. Uh, bye.